Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about bronzers. I love bronzers so much. You guys probably already know that. In this video, I really wanted to just touch on some bronzers that I feel like are worth every single penny. I've got some favorites from the drugstore, and then I also have a few favorites that are high-end. Either way, the formulas can't be beat, in my opinion. They are foolproof. Each one kind of does a different thing for me, so I'm gonna be explaining exactly why I feel like they're worth your money, and then hopefully it'll be helpful for you to pick out a bronzer that would suit you if you're looking to buy a new one. Some of you guys may know that I have a series where I kind of categorize certain products and just talk about my favorites. I have them all in a playlist for you guys. This is just supposed to help you when you're shopping and if you're in need of a specific item. I'm trying to build the playlist so that it's really easy for you to go find the playlist when you're shopping for a highlighter or a blush or something like that. And you'll be able to click on my current favorites and hopefully it'll help you out. So this is the bronzer edition. I'm so excited. I could talk about bronzers for days. So let's just get right into it. The very first bronzer that I wanna talk about is from the drugstore. However, it's a little bit on the higher end as far as price goes. You guys are gonna have to bear with me on this packaging. I actually couldn't find my original Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I have this one, which is in a deeper shade, but I thought I would just show you so you can see if you're shopping at Walmart, what the packaging looks like exactly. I normally use the shade bronzer, but this bronzer is foolproof. First of all, it smells so good, and I really feel like it blends on the skin like butter. The shade bronzer that I wear really works for my skin tone, However, there are so many different shades, so no matter what skin tone you have, you will be able to find something that will really work for your complexion. I just feel like this blends over your foundation so beautifully. I really love how it's a nice mid-tone between cool and warm. So on me, it helps to sculpt the face and warm it up all at the same time. It is beautiful. It is worth every penny in my opinion. I will never stop buying the Butter Bronzer, and I know so many of you guys have tried it out. I feel like it's around like $13 or $14, so it is a pretty penny for a drugstore bronzer, but I still haven't gone through my original butter bronzer and I have used that thing so much. So I really do feel like you get your money's worth. This is an amazing place to start if you're kind of new to bronzers or you need a new one. I think you should definitely start with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's foolproof, you really can't go wrong. So the next bronzers I wanna talk about are kind of like a two-in-one. Both of these do very similar things for me. I don't feel like you need both. However, I do use both. If you have fair skin but you're a bronzer lover like myself, you may find that you tend to go heavy-handed with the bronzer and it can easily look muddy and patchy and so recently I don't know why I never thought of this before but recently I've been really into a little bit of a lighter bronzer maybe it's because we're just coming out of winter during the whole winter I really found myself enjoying a little bit of a lighter bronze to match my fairer skin tone so the two that I absolutely love are the Kylie Cosmetics bronzer now this comes in so many shades the shade that works best for me for this kind of effect is khaki and then I also have the Hoola light bronzer which is so such a good formula as well. Let me show you the shades really quick. So here are both of those bronzers in the pan. They do look very, very similar. The Hoola Light is a little bit more of a yellowy tone. And then the Kylie Cosmetics one seems like it has a little bit more of a neutral undertone. This one has a little bit of a dustier feel. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but the formulas are different. This one is a little bit more of a dense and sheer formula. Both of these work beautifully for just a nice overall glow. You really can't go wrong, again, if you find yourself being a little bit heavy handed with bronze. This is a really great place to start because you can always add more bronzer, but it's not as easy to take the bronzer away. So these two have been must-haves for just like a subtle glow. I actually have this layered underneath another bronzer. I kind of dusted it all over the face a little bit, and I feel like that just helped create a nice little healthy glow. So definitely recommend these ones. If you're looking for something to sculpt the face and add a little bit of glow, this is the one for you. I love this. This is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Bronze it bronzer. This comes in a few shades. Actually, I think it comes in three shades. I use the lightest one, and when you first purchase this, you'll see like glitter flakes in it. It does not transfer onto the skin, so don't get freaked out. Let me see if it will capture on camera. Can you see the slight sheen to this? I think this is so beautiful if you want a little bit of a luminous, healthy glow. This is cool toned enough to where it really does a good job at sculpting out those cheekbones while adding that glow, and it does add a little bit of warmth to the skin as well. I love the large pan in this. It feels so high-end. This is such a gorgeous bronzer. I feel like this has become one of my all-time favorite bronzers ever. I always recommend it to friends when they're looking for a good drugstore bronzer, and I really do love the subtle sheen that it gives. It's not like a blinding sparkly glow, though. It just kind of adds a healthy look to the skin, which I absolutely love, so highly recommend this one as well. The next bronzer I want to talk about is one that I have
have recently just fallen in love with. And it's a cream bronzer, so it is a little bit of a different formula than all these powder bronzers that I'm talking about. It's the Milk Makeup Bronzer. The thing that I love about this is the consistency of this bronzer is so perfect to wear. It's really foolproof. It's sheer enough to wear. It always looks natural on the skin, but it adds such a good warmth, a nice glow. It blends out absolutely beautifully. If you're somebody who's really into cream products, definitely, definitely pick this one up. I also like to layer powder bronzers over top of this. A lot of you guys have seen me use it in tutorials where I will do my foundation and concealer. I will sculpt out the face with this, set the entire thing with a translucent powder, and then I go in and bronze even more with a powder bronzer. It just makes my bronzer last even longer if I do it like that. It is so good. This is absolutely worth every penny. If you've been kind of wanting to try a cream bronzer but you're scared, this is so easy to work with, you guys. I promise you will really get the hang of it quickly. It is so good and it smells like Play-Doh. I say that every time I use it, but if you're ever at Sephora, smell this and tell me it doesn't take you back to your childhood. This is amazing. So this next bronzer is a little bit of a newer addition to the drugstore. This comes in a few shades as well. It's the Maybelline City Bronzer and the thing that I really love about this is it's the perfect kind of warm matte buttery bronzer. I think this is beautiful on fair skin. Again, there are three different shades. So if you have a medium or a deep skin tone, you can get the bronzer that correlates with your skin tone. It's a beautiful formula. I feel like this blends out like a dream. This is also kind of a foolproof formula in the sense that it's a little bit more sheer and I feel like it just buffs out on the skin so nicely. I have been obsessed with this. It says it's a bronzer and contour powder. I would have to agree with this shade. It's another one of those shades that's right in the middle where it's able to sculpt out the face. If you like to use it to kind of contour, you can. You can use it on the sides of the nose and it's not gonna look orange. It is so beautiful. I love this one. What in the world? I have a piece of hair that's been, oh my word, was that there the whole time? I'm sorry. All right, I wanted to save my absolute favorite bronzer for last. Don't get me wrong, I seriously rotate between all of these bronzers all the time, but if I had to just choose one right now, it would be the Thrive Cosmetics Sun Chaser Bronzer in the shade Rhea. I don't know what kind of sorcery is in this bronzer. I don't know if you can see on camera how loved this is. This is so beautiful, and this is a bronzer that really works on me when I'm super fair and also when I'm kind of more tan in the summer months. It is so perfect. The color is perfect. There's something about the formula that just allows it to glide on top of the skin so nicely. It kind of has a little bit of like a blurring effect in my opinion as well, which I love. This is the bronzer that I'm wearing all over the face right now, and I just feel like it looks so natural. You can't go wrong. This has been like my ride or die ever since I've tried it. This one is a high-end bronzer, so you are going to have to fork out a little bit more money in the beginning, but this has lasted me a really long time. And again, I do feel like this is worth every single penny. If you really are into matte bronzers and you've been looking for just a foolproof all around 10 out of 10, this is incredible. Also, the packaging is beautiful on this. I feel like it has a nice weight to it, which I really like. And there's also a mirror in this one, which is really helpful. But truly, I would have to say this one is my favorite out of the bunch right now. If you can even compare them, I know they're all bronzers, but to me, they're so different. And I just have different bronzers that I like to wear depending on the makeup look that I'm going for, depending on the state of my skin, depending on whether I have a tan or not. These are just all different kinds of bronzers that I like to use to achieve slightly different looks. And to me, they're all such high quality bronzers, no matter if they're from the drugstore or from Sephora, they are so good. I highly recommend every single bronzer that I talked about today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below what other category you would like to see me make a video about. And also, I wanna know in the comments what your ride or die bronzer is. I love to find new products from you guys, and I feel like you have amazing recommendations. So if there's a bronzer that I didn't talk about, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed this kind of video where I'm sharing like my top picks per category, I will have the playlist link down below where you can kind of see the previous videos that I've posted. And I just hope that playlist helps you guys find what you're looking for when you're shopping for makeup. So I will link that down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love to have you join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I post, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I upload. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!